Hello everybody, it's Chaos4266 again. We, last time we delivered the tech docs to the White Forest and they told us, hey, now you're going to go attack the alien planet. And for some reason, we have to go through three levels of Earth first. Why? I don't know. I mean, they didn't say, first clean up the aliens on Earth, then go beat the planet. They said, go beat the planet. But, yeah. We're gonna clear out some enemies on Earth first. They call it the Burn Jungle. As far as I know, there's no jungle in Burn, Switzerland. Maybe there's another Burn somewhere, I guess. Okay, enough digression. Let's start. Oh, come on. Curse you. There we go. And we had the laser. The regular laser. Three way laser now that I've powered it up a little bit, which is nice. I wish it's lag would go away, but it won't, it seems, intent on staying. Death laser! Yes, death laser. Now, in fact, as I remember, the manual didn't name the weapon. I remember I tried to look it up one time. I'm sure the manual's probably laying around my room somewhere, but I can't find it. I haven't really looked for it lately. I probably should. Uh, if I do find the manual and it does have weapon names, I'll throw them in the comments eventually at some point. Uh, let's see. I do want a flamethrower for this level. Ah! I want a flamethrower level for this level because of those purple bat things we just saw. Yep, yep, those. Those. Having the fire on either side of the ship becomes nice later on. They attack really in swarms and they're gonna damage me. Yeah. This, if you're playing the game for the first time, especially if you're younger and not used to shmups, like I was when I played this game, this one is kind of where it starts getting hard. In fact, this level is probably the second hardest of all the Earth levels. The levels are based on Earth, which is all but honestly two. It's kind of a spoiler, but nah oh well. Not not crud! I did not want the laser. Dang it. No, I think I'm gonna have to fight the bot mid boss with the laser. I did not wanna have to do that. Come on, give me a power up. No! Come on. Power up. Where are you, power up? Are you power up? I do not wanna fight the mid boss with the laser. And I have to fight the butterflyish mid boss with the laser. Eat bomb. Uh, I'll just use bombs on it. Come on. Yes, there we go. That'll work. Uh, you might have noticed the screen does did glitch out a little bit with the bomb. That always happens. Even on the Game Boy, the screen will glitch out with the bomb. It just freaks out the video system. A little bit too much for it, I guess. I don't know why. Doesn't, I mean, I've... I have played this game on my Game Boy, I've played it on my Game Boy Advance, I've played it on my Game Boy Player with the GameCube on the television, yeah. Like I said in the first video, I've played the crap out of this game. I'm surprised it doesn't look like... <laughs> you might remember way back in the first video, I said I was classically trained. I started out with ColecoVision and Atari. Most of our Atari tapes we got from my uncle. And in fact, I might let's play some ColecoVision and Atari games, just because I haven't seen a lot of them let's play, especially the ones that I would let's play. If I can find a decent emulator. If I can't find a decent emulator and I get really desperate for let's plays, I might, you know, throw my camera, rig my camera up to record my television. It'd be horrible quality, but it'd get it done. Find some different ones, some ones I've never seen anywhere else before. Some that I've been surfing on the web and there's not a lot of information about, so you know, it might be cool to record them for posterity, especially since the Coleco, my, my, both of my Colecos, we actually have two. Or, it's starting to go. Ah, oh, crud, I died! No! Talking about Coleco! I'm not allowed to die when I'm talking about Coleco. Oh, whoa, the boss already. Yeah, this boss was a surprise the first time, because the bosses don't normally try and ram you up until this point, and I died like three times, I was like, whoa, why does he keep ramming me? He's not the hard ramming boss, although the hard ramming boss, the flamethrower makes a chump out of him. 
It just absolutely makes a chump out of the hard ramming moss. I mean, it allows you to obliterate him. I mean, quite literally, I think when I faced earlier today, it took me all of 10 seconds. That's another mission down, another video down, just to cover my butt on time. When we return, mission 5, Ma'chai Volcano. If you don't like my pronunciations of anything, you'll get over it. Okay, see you all next video, people.